Bill Kerman, you are being completely irrational. Listen, Bill. Bill, there's no problem here. Bill, I'm not going to talk to you back. Turn around when you speak to me. Oh, Bill, that's a nice mustache you've grown. Are you a, um, are you a fan of Burt Reynolds? Who's Burt Reynolds? You don't know who Burt... Bill, you're already frustrating me as it is. I'm not giving you that chance, Bill. Why not? Because it's really cool. But Bill, this is the best we can do right now. I, I got the check from Rockamax, bought, okay? Didn't have time. Just didn't have time to buy good science equipment, so we just had to go with what the R&D Center had ready for us. I'm not giving you that now. Bill, please, don't argue with me. Bill. Bill. Oh, Bill. Now, Bill, you made me do that. I know, it's made of cardboard. Okay, okay, okay. I get it. But, okay, that spacesuit that you're wearing, it's rather fancy, isn't it? Those are designed to survive impacts up to 900 meters per second. What? Yeah, yeah. You could you could just as well jump off the top of the VAB and you'd land right on your feet, just like a cat. Seriously? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely, Bill. I mean, it's really good spacesuit. Bill, this is a really bad idea. <laughs> I know what I said, Bill. I know, but... but <laughs> No, no, I wasn't lying. It was just... <laughs> no, you shouldn't do it. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> okay, Bill, I may have... <laughs> yes, yes, I was lying. <laughs> Bill, Bill, here's the thing. Oh, Jesus, Bill. Oh, Jesus, Bill, you're falling off the building. <laughs> No, I can't pull you up. I don't have hands. I'm just a disembodied voice in this world. Help me, help me. Help me. I want to help you. Oh, God, don't move, Bill. Don't move. The suits won't hold, Bill. The suits won't hold. Oh, my God, Bill, the suits work. That was kind of a lot to get to the beginning of this episode, wasn't it? Can we go to space now? Great. Ronin Pawn! Hello, I am the Ronin Pawn, and this is New Pawnington. Welcome back, everyone. After much persuasion, I seem to have convinced Bill Kerman to pilot us on our first attempt at an orbital flight around Kerbin using using this contraption cardboard box and there's uh, some uh, like a bench maybe made out of planks wooden planks and then um there's this port and we've we've wedged a uh, parachute inside of there that was um as apparently someone's grandmother uh, had uh, knitted us you'll see it, you'll see it later premise established good excellent how is the how are things going in in the box bill <laughs> oh good good i'm glad that it's going well um uh, your instrumentation working Excellent. Okay. Yeah, dinosaur on the wall. Apparently someone ate all the snacks. Okay, good, Bill. Great. Um, Houston, are you in the tower? Yeah, I'm here, Pawn. Great. Uh, have you had your coffee today? Yeah, I'm drinking some now. How's it taste? Uh, it tastes like Sanka, actually. This is not the good stuff, Pawn. And if I'm gonna keep working here, you need to be buying me some nice Bolivian bean. Okay, okay, fair enough. I know, it's part of your agreement. It's in my contract. I know, I know, I know. Could you give us a countdown, Mr. Houston? Absolutely, Dwan. Lift off in three, two, one, fire! Thank you, Houston. We are away. And apparently we're getting a little comms chatter there. Houston, could you see who it is who's on the walkie-talkies? Because this is going to be disturbing. Yeah, I'll take care of that, Pawn. Great, thanks. Bill, how are things looking up from your view? <laughs> little more information that we needed, Bill. Okay, good. We're going up, um... We're going up, and that's always a good sign. As you can see, I've designed this craft a little bit smarter this time. We've got two of the solid rocket boosters burning at once with a little bit of a separate, you know, they're not, they're, they won't explode, is what I'm getting at. I'm, I'm working my way around to that point. They're not going to blow up this time like they did last time, so so we've learned from our past mistakes. Solid fuel about to run out in those stages, about ready to fire. Yeah, let's just go ahead and fire it. Who gives a hell, right? 
Who cares? Does anyone really care? Is rocketry, modern rocketry, going to hurt a little bit if we fire this ro- I don't think it is. Bill, what do you think? Bill agrees with me. Thank you, Bill. Okay. <laughs> I'm insane. What are you watching me for? And... Okay, time to fire the liquid fuel, and I'm gonna try and control my speed and just hold the speed that we've got without... Uh, without having to listen to all of that. I need to bank down quite a bit more now that we're at the 10 kilometer mark. There we go, that should do it. Somewhere down by the 65 degree on the bubble seems... seems... Oh god, go, don't go down there, Paul. It's very loud down there. It's very loud. Bill, how you doing there? <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, um... <laughs> it's, it's like I'm talking to Jody Forster here. Oh, Jesus, it's loud down there. Um, so we've... I haven't controlled my speed, and we're wasting a liquid fuel, and, it, you know, deal with it. This is my channel, this is what I do, people. I think it's time to go ahead and throttle up, Pawn. Just go ahead and burn that fuel. Doesn't matter anymore, you're pretty much out of the... You're out of the densest part of the atmosphere, Pawn. I've got to start ta paying attention to the Apple apps about now, so how, how high are we? Not high at all, but we are circularizing very, very fast, so let's pray that I haven't completely knackered this. <laughs> We're running low on the liquid fuels a little bit, but I feel like this is a pretty efficient burn at this point. Um, I like this. We're going up at 45 degree angle, and we Oh, oh, Apple Apps is up! Apple Apps is up! We are up to the limit. Perfect, and look at how much- look at how wide we got our, um, our trajectory there. The nice, beautiful, beautiful little arc. How you doing there, Bill? I'm a you're looking for snacks. Well, um, check under the cardboard. There's some Cheetos I left in there for you. Okay, well, I don't care. Head on up to the Apple Apps. Take some measurements for Rocker Max. It's the wonderful uh, corporation that funds New Pornington. Can we get some singers to do that? Because I don't think I hit those notes very well. I'm sorry? What's that? Oh, they're telling me we've made space. So, since we have made space, we're coming up on our, our Apple Apps very quickly. I'm going to switch out to this view and angle us down toward the horizon. Let's go ahead and just burn out the rest of whatever the hell is left in that, drop the stage, and move on to the next stage. So, how are we doing? How are we doing? How's that Apple Apps holding? We're at 75.6 kilometers. Oh, no, 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 no. Apple Apps is falling. Apple Apps is falling behind us. Come on, come on. Come back up, Apple Apps. Come on, come on. Come back up to us. There. Yes. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, and just hold this. No, no, no. Hold this height. Hold this height. Right there, right there, right on the nose, right on the button. Oh, this is perfect. This is going to be perfect circularization, everyone. Oh, no, 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 okay, boom, and we are at 74.6 kilometers on the periaps, and, uh, 85, oh, uh, uh, perfect, Bill, you're in orbit, um, can I, can I, could I ask you to, uh, step out of the vehicle? Great. There you go, Bill, could you take us some readings now that you're in space, why are you sliding up the top of, Bill? Bill, don't slide up the top of the spacecraft. You're gonna fall off. You're gonna fall off, Bill. Careful, Bill. Bill? Bill, what are you doing, Bill? Stop it, Bill. Bill? Bill, I don't understand. Physics should not allow this to happen. Okay, well, there you go, Bill. You're wonderful. You're a great, you're a great fellow. Could you take an EVA report and tell us something about what space looks like from above Kerbin's water? Let's get over some land. Are we over land now? Bill, quick, pop out. Pop out, Bill. Let's see if we've got some different readings now that we're not over water. We're above Kerbin's grasslands in space. You're still sliding up the ladder, Bill. That's a habit that you've got. Uh, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to fix that, my friend. We've got water, we've got grasslands. Let's see what's over rear. Still above the grasslands. Well, that's fine, Bill. You've already got that. Oh my god, Bill. Bill, get back on the ship. Get back in the ship. It's not really a ship, is it? It's just a, it's just a cardboard box floating in space. Let's get right over the top of the mountains now and send Bill out. Come on, Bill. Tell us what mountains look like, will you? Highlands! We're on the highlands. Great. Take that data as well. And Bill, get back in the ship. Get back in the ship. Bill, isn't this lovely, Bill? Take a look at this out your window. Tell me how it looks. Looks like space. Great. You you should be a poet, Bill. That's wonderful. Um, yes, it does look like space, doesn't it? You know what I want to do? I want to do this again. I want to try and bring us down on the KSC. So I'm going to take this opportunity. We have, you know, perambulated the, uh, the planet. Perambulated? That, that's... you've got some interesting words in your vocabulary, haven't you? Got? Uh, okay, I'm just gonna stop it there because I have no idea 
how the atmosphere is going to affect us as we're, as we're making this fall. Maybe we'll get lucky. Oh, we're back into atmosphere. I can't, I can't time warp. I can't physics warp. Do you think the cardboard box is going to hold together through physics warp? Is this desert? This might be desertous region. Bill, I'm going to ask you to get out one more time before we... Oh, Jesus, Bill. Quit sliding around. We're over the mountains! We're over the mountains! Take that data and get back in, Bill. Oh, get back in. Quick, quickly, Bill. Quick, like a bunny. Hop back in, hop back in. Okay, because we're going to be back in the... We are in the atmosphere right this very second. So what they're telling me on the comms, on the comms signal right now, they're saying, hey, you're in atmosphere, did you know that? And I'm going, oh, yeah, yeah, I, I, I knew that. Probably, maybe, sort of. Bill, could you pop out and tell us something about upper atmosphere, please? Oh, no, we're over deserts, though. Deserts are good. We'll take out deserts. That's fine. Okay, Bill, good work. We're down to 51 kilometers above the Earth. Um, still waiting to break into the upper atmosphere. Do you think we're there yet? Do you think we're there yet, Bill? I'm, I'm getting scared. I'm getting a little bit timid about this. Um, Bill, should I send you out again? No, you shouldn't do it. Okay, I'm gonna do it then. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Okay, take a reading. Take a reading. Uh, we're above the shores. Well, that's, that's interesting. Oh, God, Bill, get back to the ship. Get back to the ship. You're falling into the atmosphere, son. You were falling into the atmosphere. Get, get back in the ship. Get back in the ship. Okay. Okay, Bill's still safe. We still haven't gotten any upper atmosphere readings, and I don't know where the upper atmosphere is going to start. Oh, Bill, I may get you killed here. Okay. We're below 40 kilometers. If I, if I send Bill out of the ship now, is he gonna die? Oh, Bill, hang on, Bill. Hang on, Bill. Okay. Okay, EVA report. We're in the upper atmosphere. Take that science, Bill, and get back in your ship. Thank you, Bill Kerman. Yes, we have gathered gobs and gobs of science. I think that's all I'm going to ask you to do today, Bill. How do you feel after all that? Okay, Bill, we'll get you some opiates as soon as you land. Oh my god, oh my god, we're coming at the KSC! We're coming at the KSC! I didn't even notice it, it snuck up on us, it snuck up on us. Okay, well that's good, I like that. Let's see if we can't go ahead and come down right on the KSC, because I've still got, I've still got liquid fuel to burn, haven't I? There you go, there you go, yes, yes, hello Kerbal Space Command! We're coming at you, baby, we're coming at you, I don't think I've got enough liquid fuel to... No, I didn't. Um, but if I drop that, do I have another stage? I do have another stage. Let's let's fire this. There you go. We can burn a little bit of this, can't we? Maybe? Probably? Sort of? Uh, it's not working. It's not working. How do we put out the parachutes? Uh, parachutes won't even pop at 28 kilometers, apparently. 29 kilometers. Um, I'm gonna save the rest of that fuel, because apparently we've, we've missed the, the space center. Goodbye, space center! Sorry! We wanted to come down right on top of you. We wanted to teabag the space center, but it didn't work out so much. We'll be back with our... with our Ghiblis later to dangling your face. Okay, Bill, how are things on your end? Bill? Billy in there? Bill! Well, isn't that lovely? That's far and away a, a vast improvement over the um, the hefty bags. I'm just hoping that uh, this cotton weave holds up as we begin to combust in the atmosphere at how many hundreds of meters per second? It's fine, it's fine. It'll work out. I'm sure it'll work out. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Breaking out. I probably shouldn't have opened the parachutes at 28 kilometers. Oh, Grandma, I really hope that you knitted that well. You know, I don't think we ever flamed up in that descent. We never actually flamed up because we hit the atmosphere. It's just it's such a narrow, it's such a thin angle. Wow. We probably would have just bounced off of the atmosphere if, uh, if that was simulated in KSP. Looking good, Bill. Down to two kilometers. I'm gonna set you down. I'm gonna keep you alive, my son. I absolutely am. Okay, here we go. Coming up to one kilometer, one kilometer over the sea. Can we get that parachute out at 500 meters, please? We're down to 99 pe meters per second, so this should be fine. This should do well. Oh, yes. Grandma, that's lovely. Looks like we had a bit of a tear in the, um, in, in the canvas there. God, I hate this program. Let's go ahead and physics warp ourselves down. We're at 6.2 meters per second. I don't even have to. You know what? I will, just for fun. I'll go ahead and burn out the last of the um, the, the, the thrust we've got there. But yeah, there was absolutely no no need to do that. Just look at that. Oops, oops, I forgot to turn physics warp off. <laughs> Thank God you survived, Bill. Okay, Bill, hey, Bill, here's, here's an idea. Why don't you pop out and get us some EVA readings from here? 
Um, this is a most precarious situation. You're, uh, flying over Gibbon's water. Why don't you go ahead and get in, Bill? Go ahead. Get in the water. There you go. Oh, look, he can walk around on the cardboard box. This is a very well-designed mod, I have to say. And into the water for you, Bill. Um, oh god, I've drowned Bill. Bill is drowning to death. Bill, could you get us some more readings from the surface of the water? You've taken a sample of the water. It appears to dramatically increase the surface humidity of anything it touches. What? Just, just, it's water. Don't get all artsy on me. Bill, have I ever told you? You're my hero. You are the wind beneath my wings. Let's recover this craft and find out how much science our good friend Bill Kerman has gathered for us today on New Pornington. Okay, looks like Bill has surveyed both the water and the water. Good, good, good job, Bill. He got us 25 science. That's a huge gain, actually, just from Bill. And we've got a craft, I believe, that we recovered. And here's the ship. Oh my god, look at all the science the ship got. We've got 80 science from that mission alone. We are in the money. I'll see you next time, and when I do see you next time, by the way, we're gonna get better gear, okay? I've got money now. Rockamax has sent me a check. So, thanks everyone for watching. I am the Ronin Pawn. Pawn.